Hi, Chris Campbell here, and in this video I'd like to talk about what you should do when your girlfriend tries to friend zone you. And I've seen this a lot when girls leave a guy, they break up with him, and they try to slot him into the friend zone group. And this is really just not an acceptable position to be in. And you might notice that girls are pulling away from you, they're going cold and they say, I just want to be friends with you, let's just hang out and just be friends and let's not be physical, we can just talk. And a lot of guys, they're willing to accept this situation and hope that it's going to turn around and the girl's going to make, think, oh, I made a big mistake and this guy's so cool and he's awesome and he's so kind and he's caring and I should be dating him. Guys, don't realize this. When a girl puts you into friend zone, it's very hard to get out of friend zone. And if a girl meets you and you're trying to date her and you're trying to basically get her to be your girlfriend, and then she's thinking this guy's better off as a friend, it essentially means that she's not attracted to you. And if a girl loses attraction for you or she's not attracted to you, she's going to want to put you into friend zone. If you're a beta guy, you're not an alpha male, then she's going to want to put you into friend zone too because she doesn't see you as being a viable dating option. So if your ex-girlfriend has tried to put you into friend zone or you're currently in friend zone, you need to get out now. You need to tell her straight up, hey, I don't want to be your fucking friend. I'm not your friend. I want to date you. I want to make love to you. I want to be intimate with you. If you don't like that, then I'm willing to walk away. And it's really powerful if you say this. You're willing to walk away. You don't care if you're her friend. Tell her, I got enough friends already. I had a girl say this to me. Oh, can we just be friends? I said, I don't need any more friends. I got a lot of friends. And then she said, oh, okay, let me think about it. And then she went away. She's probably expecting me to text her and call her and say, okay, let's be friends. So she ends up calling me back a few days later and says, oh, I've actually thought about it. Maybe we can try again. I said, hey, you better understand this. If you try to friend zone me or you try to do any of that shit, this is just not going to work out. I need an intimate physical relationship with a woman and you need to tell a girl where you stand. Just be confident, be direct and be bold in what you want. And it's really important to understand what attracts a girl and being bold, being direct and going after what you want, telling her that you like her, that you're attracted to her. This is also going to generate attraction in her for you. So you need to do that. Don't let a girl friend zone you. Don't say it's an acceptable situation to be in because it's not. It's not what you want. And if you get friend zoned, you're going to be stuck there. She's not going to see you as a guy who's worthy of mating with her, to put it in a crude way. Um, she's just not going to want to have sex with you because you're basically a beta guy, you're not high value, you're low value to her and you want to get out of that position, you want to be high value, project value to a woman, project confidence and she'll find you much more attractive. Tell her you're willing to walk away, you're not accepting friend zone and she's going to have to ultimately choose. Some girls will say okay and they'll let you walk away and there's nothing you can do. But most women I've seen, when they realize the guy's willing to walk out of their life, they'll actually consider it and they will, they will actually give you a fair chance. Now, if you really want to get a girl back, you want to re-attract her, you're going to have to start projecting confidence, boldness and be high value. I've had a couple of clients recently, and this is not counting all the hundreds of clients I've had over the years, who've been stuck in friend zone and they're saying, you know, we're just friends at the moment, but I'm trying to convince her that eventually I'm the right guy for her. And these guys are just kidding themselves. They're not convincing anyone. They're just fooling themselves. The girl's moved on. She's not interested at all. I mean, she's out dating other guys. She's looking at other guys and you're written off. You're just an ear. You're feeding her ego. You're there for emotional support and stability. And you're essentially just a guy she knows she can rely on to help her out. I remember this one girl a long time ago who used to go to church on purpose to meet guys who would actually give her lifts, buy her things. And she knew that the guys at church could be easily friend zoned. And she would take full advantage of this because she knew she had an army of suckers who were willing to just bow down to her every need. She was a beautiful girl and they wanted to help her out. And they thought, hey, if I'm kind to her, if I'm sweet to her, then one day she's going to fall in love with me. And it just doesn't work like that. Women want raw masculine energy and you really need to just go after them. Be direct. Don't listen to what people are telling you out there, how you've got to be a nice guy. It doesn't work like that. Just be an honest guy. If you want to go, tell her. That's the best way to win her over, trust me. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I really look forward to hearing from you guys. 
Just go to my website and send me an email from there. I read every single email that I get. Unfortunately, I can't respond to every email because I just don't have enough time. If you really want me to get back to you and you have an urgent relationship problem, you need to reattract a girl or you need to get your girlfriend back, then I really recommend that you book a Skype or email consultation with me. You can find a link to book a consultation with me below this video. And if you'd like to leave a small donation, I'd really appreciate it. It really just helps me to keep on creating free content for you guys. You can find a donation link below this video too. See you next time.